shot the WG2 bucket. I think I hit him really high and really back. I'm gonna have to give that deer a lot of time. A lot of time. Well guys, I wanna give everybody an update. I haven't even done my open interview yet. I just shot the WG2 buck. It's freaking insane. November 3rd, it's 60 degrees. It's just so crazy to me that it doesn't matter, you know. This time of the year is just magical. It doesn't matter how hot it is. Um, you're seeing bucks fall like crazy, even though it doesn't matter just because how hot it is. Uh, I'm a little concerned with the shot. I'm very concerned about the shot. Um, I actually had to bend down and squat halfway down um, to get around the tree, and my bow banged on the dang seat. And he heard it, and he looked my way, and then he turned his head, and that's when I shot. Should have took my time a little bit more. I was just scared he was gonna start continue to chasing that doe. But I brushed the shot. Then I hit him far back and high. Um, I'm thinking I caught backside lung. Um, and I could have caught that artery as well. Um, it was a complete pass through though. It just scares me because it's I did hear him but he ran into the thicket uh, to the east and I can hear him gasping for air, so I'm wondering if I did get to catch that lung. Like it was like growly, so um, I'm probably actually just gonna get down. I'm gonna leave my arrow there. I'm gonna sneak out of here as quietly as possible, and I'm just gonna go back to the car. I'm gonna go to work, and then uh, come back tonight. Um, I knew right away right when I shot. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm really worried. But I don't want to push that deer, so I'm not gonna even go look. I'm not gonna go look at my arrow. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna get down and leave. I think that's the best thing I can do. I don't want to. I don't want to push him. Um, and hopefully tonight, come back. I mean, if I come back around four o'clock, I mean that's it's about eight hours, give or, give or take. You know, what time is it now? It's it's seven fifty-five. So I, mean, I just don't want to push it. You know. Us bow hunters been doing this long enough that if it ain't in the vitals, back out. Better to back out than not. Um, I'd rather him die in his bed than suffer. Just keep pushing him, trying to find him. So, but like I said, I don't want to even go to the arrow. Just want to get out of here. I probably won't be able to get any work done today. It'll be so freaking jacked up. I'll try to find this deer. So, so we're gonna get down. And we're gonna go get out of here, and hopefully we celebrate tonight. Good. It's him. I can see the kicker on his G2. <laughs> yeah, he didn't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. Him. That's him. Sweet. Let's <laughs> go. He been dead a minute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, he might have died right away. Oh, he's been he's stiff. Ugh. Man, he's a stud. Oh boy, he stinks. Oh, I bet he does. Been, huh? dead, a, been dead a while. <laughs> That's him. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's oldie. He's oldie. Teeth all gnawed down? You can't tell. Oh my god. We are in no man's land, bud. Yeah, we're gonna have fun here. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. <sighs> well, guys, here he is. This is the number one deer we had on the farm this year. Um, just a mainframe 10. Um, we thought he was a bigger deer than this, honestly. We thought he had a little bit more mass than this. Um, I had an encounter with this deer on Sunday, uh, last Sunday, and he came in actually right behind me about 15 yards and knew something was up and he didn't give me a shot. And then this morning he came in about 7, 7.20 um, right over here and there was a doe, he was pushing around a doe. Um, and I actually made the mistake and I was trying to draw on him when he came into this opening right here. And I hit my bow on, on, the, on, the, on the tree stand and it made a thud and he didn't know what it was, but he was so clu uh, cued in on that doe that he didn't care. So I was able to get an arrow in him. I hit him really far back, unfortunately. We didn't know if he was gonna die or not. Um, he's actually been, we waited 10 hours to come and find him. And luckily he didn't make it 40 or probably about 40 yards from where we shot him. So about 60 yards, he made it. Um, we think he's the oldest deer we got on the farm. So really blessed to get him, get him harvested. I mean, like I said, it's the number one deer we had on the farm this year. So um, really thankful for um, being able to hunt this place and, and everything that, it, all the blessings that it's brought me. Uh, can't thank my wife enough and everybody that supports me and my passion. Um, it's funny because I tell everybody at work too and they, they probably get annoyed but they love hearing about it. So um, we're going to get this guy taken care of and tagged and get him on out of here.